let's say that your mother, she was hugging you when you were a kid. So now you miss that feeling of your mother hugging you as a child. So now you want, I don't know, your wife to hug you. You want every woman in the street to hug you. You, you miss your father's support when you were 7, 12, 13 years old. One time he was home and he hugged you. And so now you're looking for some strong, powerful men to stand by your side and to guide you and to get, so then you're going to go and going to try to idolize every rabbi and every tutor and every rich and, and it's all it's all a lie there's no connection between that hug of your father to you when you were 14 to what that you are now consuming demanding looking to achieve in that. it's like it's two separate things so and we're always counting on our memories we're leaning on our past all of the time. You want to succeed. You want to, to enjoy. You want to be satisfied. You want to be happy. And what is happiness for you? And you're going to say, I remember once I was happy. It was in a, in a beach party in Hawaii. Another person is going to say, I finished Masechet Brachot and I was very satisfied. So now he will always going to yearn Masechet Brachot or Lahavdil or, or, or from the other side, a beach party in Hawaii. And... Even if you're going to find yourself now finishing Masechet Brachot, it's not promising you the same happiness that you felt last time finishing Masechet Brachot. So stop yearning to finish Masechet Brachot all of the time. That's not the answer to your thirst, to your sorrow. Don't look for those parties again and again and again because they will not going to bring you to that awesome feeling of happiness, of freedom, of, of excitement that you felt in that beach party. You can find yourself today crying, frustrated, breaking your head to, to, to the walls in a beach party. And it's not going to make you happy. You're going to feel lost. You can finish Masechet Brachot today and to say, uh, what's the use? Well, well, it doesn't, it, it haven't brought me nowhere. So like I told you, the, the way to fix it is only to serve Hashem Barach in the present, in the now. And then you will not gonna base your thoughts and your desires and your will on lies, on, on fake imaginations. So in every situation, now you stand in a situation and you feel fear, you feel anger, you feel frustration, you feel sadness, you feel desire. You need to ask yourself, am I with Hashem now? If I'm with Hashem and I feel that that's the will of Hashem and it's going to make me happy and that's my goal, go do that. But if you see that it's just a fake imagination that based on your past experience, so you must avoid receiving this pleasure. And if you see that this thing even is threatening you and you're afraid, if you feel that now it's Hashem it Barach threatening you, so deal with Hashem. But if you feel that this fear is based not on Hashem threatening your life, just you are based on memories, why is it you're going to think that every person that walks in the middle of the night is a murderer? You're walking in that street also now in the middle of the night, and so you should be suspected as a potential murderer? You're not a murderer. You're just walking to your house. And yes, it's the middle of the night. You're allowed to walk in the middle of the... Everything's okay. Why are you afraid of murderers in the middle of the night? Because of horror movies that you saw. Because of, of, of horrible news that you read. Because of hor hor horrific imaginations that you have in your mind. Thinking again and again, what can happen to me? What can happen to me? What can happen to me? So you're not afraid of the night. The night cannot harm you. You're not afraid of that person. That person might be a very good person. Your enemy is your thoughts that are based on your past experience. And you're not being realistic at all. 